So today we are looking at seventh chords in more detail and I want to give you guys a simple but popular R&B chord progression that uses these chords. You'll hear this chord progression in Destiny's Child's Say My Name as well as Chris Brown's Drunk Texting and a whole lot of other songs. If you can think of any other songs that use this chord progression, let us know down in the comment section below. So I'm going to play the chord progression and then break it down for you. Okay, so again, we're in the key of C for simplicity, and we're going to start on the 6, A minor. We're going to play an A minor 7, but let's invert it and move our E and our G down one octave, bringing our notes closer together. This is a minor 7 second inversion, and it's a popular way to voice your 7th chords. The closeness of the notes gives us that nice warmth that we're trying to achieve when creating R&B. The next chord is the 4 which is an F and we're going to play an F major 7 here. And this actually sounds nice in its root position in contrast to the closed A minor 7 we played. This chord in this root position really opens out the progression we go from a closed sounding chord to an open one. And that contrast really sounds nice in my personal opinion. And, and these are the kind of things that you wanna think about when choosing how you want to voice your chords. But to add a bit of that warmth we spoke about, we can actually play the uh, fifth in our left hand also. So we have the root note and the fifth in our left hand. Our next chord is the two, D and we're going to play a D minor 7. Now we could play it the same way we did our F major 7 and have that nice downward movement but if we do what I spoke about in the inversions video and voice our chord to play the melody note at the top which in this case is D if we were taking inspiration from Destiny's Child Say My Name we'd use the D minor 7 first inversion and move our root note, which happens to be our melody note also, to the top. So this is another way to voice your 7th chords. And in our left hand we can still play our D. And we could even play an octave below it. And of course we could add the fifth. And now all of this together sounds a lot warmer. And this is still the same minor seven chord as we are playing the same notes but we're just doubling up or tripling up on some of them lower down on the keyboard. So our next chord is the five which is G and we're going to play a nice simple G major triad chord here but again we can play the one and the five in the left hand. For a bonus chord, um, instead of playing this G major, we could actually just take the same notes we played in our D minor 7 and just play our G in the bass and our, maybe our fifth uh, with our, our left hand and we have a really nice sounding chord here. I'm not sure what it is, so I'm not going to break it down. Um, I think it's like a G set G9 sus4 or something like that. So yeah, I'm not going to break it down, but jot this one down as it's a nice one that, that you can throw into this chord progression. And to finish it off, we have a classic R&B chromatic walk up from the five to the six. So G, G sharp, A, or five sharp five six. The chord we play over the top of the G sharp is a G sharp augmented chord. So to create an augmented chord we take our normal major triad, so we have our G sharp major, and we just sharpen the fifth. When we sharpen a note we move it one semitone up, or one semitone to the right. So our E flat becomes an E. 
Now for our inversion, we're going to play the E one octave below. And that's our chord progression. So let's play it one more time. Let me know if this tutorial was useful and what you would like to learn next in the description below. And subscribe for more content just like this. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.